Hey everyone, welcome to Empower Team Monday Night Call. I am Natalie Dolan. I am a Sapphire brand ambassador and I am so excited to share with you guys tonight about vision casting. Um, this call is, is titled um, How to Cast Vision and, and Transfer Belief. And the both kind of go hand in hand. Um, we all know that belief is a crucial, cru crucial, crucial, crucial part to being successful in this business. You must have belief in yourself, probably the most important belief in network marketing, belief in Plexus, the products, um, and really where, and Plexus as a company, really. Um, but likewise, vision casting, I would say is, it is one of the most important skills that you can learn to help move your business forward. I can say confidently that um, throughout my past almost six years of doing the business, um, one thing that I did know how to do well was cast vision. And that took me um, past all of the times when I fell short because at least I could cast vision. It, I may not have been most organized or um, I had crazy seasons where I wasn't consistent. Um, I had all sorts of setbacks. I had all sorts of um, mindset stuff I had to work through in myself. But at the end of the day, I still knew how to cast vision. And that's what carried my business throughout all of that stuff. Um, so I did, oh, I was going to, I was going to write this down, but I didn't, I was doing more research into, um, vision. And I just want to read what Christina Williams says that vision is. She says, vision is a clear mental picture of what could be in someone's life and the conviction that it should be. So the clear mental picture of what could be in someone's life and the conviction that it should be. If you have the conviction that, you know, so-and-so could be so successful, then you're going to be able to um, transfer that. Um, for this call in research, I called Natalie Borges, who helped me go silver, who is now an Emerald ambassador on this team. <laughs> and so I... I, she was one of the very first people I ever casted vision to. I was not even a silver. And I, um, I just knew that the products were working for me and the business was working for people like me who had more objection, who, who had more obstacles than me. And I knew that um, I had prayed about it and I knew the Lord said I definitely needed to do it. And so therefore I knew that if this is where I was called, then there are other people who are called to this along with me. And so I called Natalie and I was like, do you remember what I said? Because y'all know I don't have a great memory. And she was like, I actually do remember this conversation. And I just called, she said that when I called her, I just had such a conviction that I, that she should be doing this with me and that we would be successful if we did it together. And she said, we went on to talk about it. And she said that, you know, for the first few months, like she didn't even have, like, she said first three or four months, she didn't even have, she didn't even have like real results on the products. She just believed that she was like, well, Natalie's having good results on the products. So I just believe her. She says, we're going to be successful. She, she says, we're going to do this. And even though I don't feel anything on the products, <laughs> she was working her business with no product results because she believed me, you know, and because I had the conviction and I knew that we would be crazy successful if we just did it, you know? <laughs> um, and so, um, so yeah, so, uh, so I want to say you can not even be silver and cast vision to people. If you are willing to call them up and be, you know, I, I did that. Yeah. I, I've done that with several people on my team. I, I think about the same with Tova. I had a conviction that Tova was going to be successful. That to I had a strong conviction that I knew that Tova could be a diamond. 
And so I followed up with her over and over and over for a year. And I signed up people under her. I signed up her friends under her. I, you know, whatever. And whenever I would get the chance, at least a year, yeah. Because I had the conviction that if she did this, then she could be a diamond, okay? And so there are some people that it's like, if I always say your obedience to casting vision to people and your obedience to following up with people is, is um Natalie you easily sold you're like I guess so you were skeptical she was skeptical but you still okay but um I uh yeah so I always say that your obedience is is tied to other people's blessings and so the that obedience is um doing your IPA being consistent so to build the trust following up keeping on casting vision over and over and over and then after, you know, because you need to expect that when you're doing that, even when you're talking to people about the products and the business, expect a no at first. Natalie didn't even say, neither one, Natalie Tova, who are both emeralds on my team, they said no. <laughs> well, Natalie said, eh, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> like Tova was like, no. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, that was okay. You have to expect a no. First of all, almost no one says yes immediately. Almost no one. And kind of, if they do, I'm kind of like, are they all there? I don't know. Like, just think about it. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's a big choice. Okay. So, and then, but, but expect to follow up 12 times at least. It's the same with the products. If you ask somebody about the business one time and they say no, um, okay you got to keep on following up with them just like the products. All right. Um, what I will say before I, before I dig a little bit deeper, um, one thing that casting vision isn't it's, it's not saying, um, I see, cause I see this a lot. So I just want to address this really quick. I see people saying, why aren't you doing this with me to people? Well, why aren't you doing this with me? Or you could be, you know, you could be whatever, you know, why aren't you doing it? And that is kind of addressing, that's not vision casting. That's almost shaming someone, <laughs> it, it, like shaming someone into wanting to do this with you. And that never works. So if you're saying, well, why aren't you doing this with me yet? Don't do that. Instead, switch, switch that to what if, what if you did this with me and you and we both went to the top and made so much money and we traveled to Hawaii every year and drove in Lexuses. Wouldn't that be so cool? What if, what if this actually worked for us? I believe it's going to work for me. What if you did this with me? You know, that is, that opens people up. Why aren't you doing this with me? Shuts people down and puts people on the defense. So anyway, just want to throw that in and I uh, just wanted to throw that in there. Um, okay. So when it comes to casting vision, to cast vision and to transfer belief, you must first have your own vision and your own belief. So you, in this business, you cannot give what you don't have. In leadership, you can't give what you don't have. That's why even if you don't feel like you need to read personal growth books, you still need to read them. Even if you're great with time management, maybe you need to learn how to explain time management better. So you need to learn, even if I, there are people, you know, who are jewels and they don't have any kids, but they still watch videos about people who have kids so that the people on, they can help the people on their team. I watch, I watch videos about homeschooling in Plexus. I don't even homeschool. I watch videos about that because there's people on my team that homeschool and I want to be able to help them out. Okay. Cause I can't give what I don't have. So therefore I got to go and learn about how to homeschool in Plexus, you know, or whatever it is, how to work full time and Plexus, you know, even though that wasn't my story. So, um, first you have to have your own vision and belief because you can't give what you don't have. All of this starts with you getting clear with your vision. Okay. You need to write out your vision. Okay. You need to, this is my vision for my future is this. I'm going to get there this way. Make a vision board, what you're going to do with your life, have conversation with your family, 
don't skip this step. It's a crucial part of the, of your whole business success, because you have to have your own vision to invite people along into your vision. Um, so make a vision board, watch diamond document, diamond docs daily, daily. If you're, if you don't feel like I have a strong vision of where I'm going, I have strong belief, then it is now your, your job to build your own, build your own vision and build your own belief. Um, and I see a lot of really successful people saying, I watch document I, like when I like lost my whole team and built my whole team back, I just started watching diamond docs every day before I would do my IPA. And I'm like, okay, you know, that is, that is such, such solid advice to do that. Because if you can envision your own, you know, where you're going, then you need to see where other people went and how their journeys went. And it helps you to start imagining what you, what your future could be. Cause not, you know, not a lot of people are big dreamers. Some people are, but a lot of people have, you know, shut themselves down to the dream and where they're going. And they've just accepted their normal life. And they're not even used to thinking outside of the box and dreaming big that those possibilities were something they shut down a long time ago, you know? And so it's cool because we get to spur people on to dreaming big again. Like that's so cool. People go from just limits to having a bigger vision and we get to help facilitate that in people. Like how cool is that? Um, so a diamond, so Plexus does, by the way, a diamond documentary at when anybody diamond is the top rank of our company and anybody who hits diamond, you, they Plexus makes a documentary about your whole journey. They come and they record you and like they record your team and they're like really big deal. Um, and so, um, there's a ton of them in the back office. There's a ton of them on Plexus's YouTube page. Um, and yeah, and I think there's even, there's, there's a lot of them. So um, just checking those out is always cool. So, um, okay. Okay, so a, a part of your vision when you're doing, when you're building your belief, you're building your vision, um, a part of that looks like identifying your limiting beliefs. Um, so if you're, if you find yourself struggling with belief or you you feel like you can't just call up your best friend and be like, listen, we're going to be so successful. We got to do this. Um, figuring out what are my limiting beliefs and then taking one step towards working on just one limiting belief. So it's like, I, I couldn't be successful because I'm not an organized person. I'm just such a mess. And I couldn't be successful because of that. I just see all these other people who are successful and they're organized and I'm not, you know, that's a limiting belief. So the one step that you can take towards, you know, and you might have a list of limiting beliefs, but like, what's one that I can start focusing on right now? Okay. So, okay. I'm disorganized. So I'm going to go and I'm going to download Google calendar and I'm going to schedule and time block my day. And that's one step towards becoming a little more organized. And once you do one step towards uh, eradicating one of your limiting beliefs, it starts a ripple effect. Well, maybe I'm not as limited. I'm literally not as limited as I thought I was because I just now, I'm now turning myself into a consistent person or an organized person or a, a person who can speak up for themselves or whatever, just one thing. And it will lead to you knocking out a whole lot more limiting beliefs. And then you will be more confident. You'll be more bold. Um, and by the way, just a PSA, you, we will, we're all always a work in progress. So you can't knock out like every single thing. We are always a work in progress. Every single one of us, there are areas of my business still that six years later that I'm like, you know, I could really be better in that area. I could be better at, you know, this or that. Um, and so I am still actively working on that and I will refine that, you know, I would like to be way better in like running numbers, you know, I can run numbers, but I want to be more efficient in that. And having not mastered that I you're still able to be successful, you know, along the way. So Okay. So here's the vision casting formula. 
Um, number one, um, yeah, um, the, I can't be reading the comments, y'all. I cannot be reading the comments. Uh, okay, vision casting formula. Okay, so one is know your vision, where you're going. Two is no, no, um, no plexus. Like no believe. You have to believe in plexus. You have to know where plexus is going. Um, you have to know network marketing. Um, you have to, you know, be familiar with that, right? Um, you have to know what's in it for them. So it's not, hey you would be so great on my team and such an asset to me on my team. Like you're a great numbers person and I'm not, and I need you to come be the numbers person on my team. No, no, that's not ever going to work. If I'd have said that to Tova, she would have been like, I'm busy. <laughs> I am not here for your, to be your numbers person. No, it's what's in it for them, you know? Um, and the last one is share why, share why you believe in them. So backing it up again. Um, so, okay. You know, your vision for me, it was, it was, I am tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm getting my family off of WIC. I'm going to start going on vacations. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to go be able to buy a shirt at target. Like that was my kind of like first vision. You know, I just wanted to be able to buy groceries and, you know, ha be able to take, you know, a vacation once a year you know? Um, and as I kept going, I kept on that, it kept on expanding. Um, but I started learning about Plexus. I, I was like, listen, Plexus is different. Plexus is different. Plexus is a legacy company. We're debt free. We are in 10 years. Plexus is going to be a household name, much like Mary Kay. Everybody is going to know what Plexus is. And you can get in now or 10 years from now, you could be like, man, Plexus really blew up. I should have stuck with it. Okay. So these are some of the things that you can share with people, right? You need to know that network marketing is no longer a way of the future. It is a way of the present because people want a side hustle. People need with all the inflation, with all the job insecurity, people need a side hustle. People need extra income, um, residual income. People are starting to see like everybody that just been working from home for two years, people, there's a lot of, have y'all noticed a lot of people still want to work from home. A lot of people are like, wait, I kind of like that. I kind of am over commuting. I'm kind of, I kind of like just working from home on my own hours and not having weird coworkers or my mean boss breathing down my neck. You know, people are open to network marketing now. Now, 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 um, and okay. And then, so, you know, know those things, right. And have a conviction about those things. Um, but what's in it for, what's in it for them, you know? So going to, you know, going to, you know, a friend, maybe she really wants to stay home with her baby, but she can't because they have a house payment and they have bills and they have student loans and she can't stay home with her baby. They, she just can't do it. You need to be able to, you're where you're talking to people where you can see, you can, you're listening to them, you asking them questions and they're sharing these things with you. Like, Hey, I have an answer to your problem. This is what's in it for you. If you do this with me, um, like you can stay home, you can stay home and be with your baby. If that's what you want, you know, maybe you want more vacations, whatever it is, but figuring out what's in it for them, asking them questions, listening for their pain points, all of that. Um, and then sharing why you believe with them, believe in them. Um, so it, it was, it was easy to say, Hey, you know, for certain people, <laughs> for certain people, um, going to them and just being like, um, you know, Hey, like you have influence, you love people. Well, you're a hard worker. You're already successful in this area. Um, I, I think that if you did what I did, you would be wildly successful. I think that you would love our team culture. I think that you would have such a blast, um, doing, you know, going on these trips with us and all, all this community and everything like that. So being able to share, share that with them. Um, okay. I am, I'm running behind a little bit. 
Okay. So a big part of vision casting is first of all, vision casting is a part of every pillar of what we do. So there are four pillars of what we do. The first pillar is recruiting. The second pillar is, ret uh, is retaining retention. The third is duplication. And the fourth is leadership and casting vision doesn't ever stop. It doesn't, st it's not only for in the beginning. It's not only like, it's not only for recruiting. It's not only for whatever it is at every single pillar. So you're casting vision when you're recruiting, you're casting vision when you're definitely when you're duplicating, but also when you're, you're working on retention with people like you casting vision, like you are going to be able to get those results. I believe that you're going to be able to get off your medicine. I believe that if you don't quit, that you are going to be feeling better than you ever have. That is, that is, I, that is vision casting. I see you being more financially free than ever. I see you being able to have more family time than you, that you've always wanted. Um, you know, so, and that's, uh, you know, even the retention and leadership. Here's a, here's another big point that I want to make. Um, even in the leadership, even in the leadership category, um, when you have somebody on your team, so maybe you have somebody on your team, you have a silver, they're like doing their, they're doing the things they're doing their IPA. They're like, they're on the calls. You're doing coaching calls with them. Vision casting does not stop. I still vision cast to all of my people all the time, Mo probably on most calls. And, and sometimes I will almost forget to vision cast but we all need it. We all need it. So, so even, you know, I'm like, man, you're going to sweep that contest or like you are totally going to hit your rank. I see you, you've been working hard. You've been killing it. You have been showing up. You are going to do it. That's me casting vision to them. Okay. And that, that doesn't stop ever. And so that needs to become a part of what you do non-stop it just needs to be something that you are very 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 intentional about if you have to put like don't forget to cast vision on a post-it in front of your you know computer where you're working or whatever then do that and eventually it will become a part of your regular um just habit it has to become a, a habit um no <laughs> Uh, she'll lock my door. Um, but okay. So yeah, so that never stops. Okay. So next point, um, learn, you have to learn to first recognize and call out people's strengths or potential. So you have to be paying attention for people's strengths. So a lot of the time we get so task oriented that we are not in relationship mode. And so this is a relationship business. This is a people business. And when we're in task mode, we're not in relationship mode. So we oftentimes have to slow down and we have to stop. And we, so the number one thing that, that you can recognize whether or not you're in relationship mode or, um, or task mode is curiosity. Am I curious about, about what's going on in this person's life? Even relationally, you know how, you know how marriage is. You're, you're busy, you're getting the kids off, you're getting to school, you're getting the work done and you're, you're busy. You're doing all the tasks. You're saying, hi, honey, nice to see you. Da, 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 da. And you're really not worried about how I'm not, wouldn't, I'm so busy. I'm doing my tasks. I'm not worried about how his day was. I'm not even curious about it because I'm in task mode, but we have to be intentional to slow down and just, okay, I, I need to slow down, step out of task mode. And then the curiosity comes, by the way, how was your day today? What happened with your meeting? So that's when you're in connection mode. And so we have to slow down, drop down into connection mode, 
make eye contact, all of that, <laughs> you know, or whatever it is, you know, whether in you're in person or, you know, it's obviously our business a little different because a lot of it is, it is a lot of it is online. Um, but slowing down and just noticing like what people are good at, like, wow, I really noticed that you are so, uh, you're really great with posts. I just, that really adds a lot of value. You know, you could transfer that, you know, into what we do, you know, you would be so great at what I do because look at how great you are at this. How did you get good at that? You know, um, have you done anything, you know, just curiosity, asking those questions. And then when you're recognizing strengths or potential, being willing to call it out. So it's a little vulnerable to, to call people's strengths out, to give people, it's kind of like a compliment, but it, it's a little bit deeper than a compliment because you are going, you are going out on a limb just to be like, Hey, I've noticed that you're, you really have a lot of potential, you know? Um, and it can be unnatural if you're like, if your love language isn't words of affirmation, then giving words of affirmation may not be natural to you, right? It has to become an intentional practice to go out on a limb and do that. Um, but when you are calling out and recognizing, recognizing people's strengths and potential, um, it needs to be genuine. It, it genuinely needs to be genuine um, because people can sense flattery. If you are just giving people lip service, people can sense it and it will break trust. We think that people don't, can't sense things, but we are intuitive beings. We just, we just are. And if they sense flattery, then that will break trust with them and it'll actually set you back because they won't trust what you're saying. They won't believe you. So it'll actually have the opposite effect. Um, another point that I will make, if it's hard, if you find it hard to recognize and call out people's strengths, it may be because you are too hard on yourself. So a lot of the time you might, you might need to start with yourself. You might need to start with loving on yourself and calling out your own strengths and identifying your own strengths and identifying your own potential. Because if, if it's hard to give, if it's hard to give, then it, you might be, you know, cause they say you can only love people to the extent you can only love and accept people to the extent that you love and accept yourself, your flaws and all. So if you reject yourself, you're going to you're going to reject other people a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. So you might need to just, just stop and write down what you're good at and build yourself up. And that's going to make it easier to build other people up. Um, okay. So I'm going, I'm going over time, but hang in there with me. I'm, I'm almost done. Last point. Okay. So what I do want to say is the last point is your energy plays a really big role in overall effectiveness of vision casting. So you cannot say, you can't call somebody up nervous and you could be nervous, but if you come off as nervous and you're like, you know, I, you know, I started this new thing and I don't know if it's going to work, but you know, maybe you should do it with me. I don't know. Are you going to want to do it with me? No. You have to, you have to have good energy. You have to say, you have to speak with conviction, you know, amp up your energy a little bit. You don't have to be a totally different person, but take it up a notch and be enthusiastic, be confident, be bold. Um, that is key. You know, I, I said it, I think maybe the last call, but you have to know where you're going. Otherwise people won't follow you. You have to confidently express that, you know, where you're going or people are not going to follow you. If you, you know, I, I can't, I couldn't remember what call it was, but I felt like I just shared this, but whatever, you know, if you're the captain of the boat and there's people joining you, 
and you're like, hey guys, welcome. I think I know where I'm going. Uh, I'm not for sure, for sure, but I'm pretty, maybe I'll, I think I might get there, um, but we'll figure it out as we go. I don't know. Um, yeah, hop on, you know, I'm going to be like, no, I'm not getting on this boat with you. Absolutely not. I am very freaked out to get on this boat now because you don't sound confident. You don't even know where you're going. You don't sound confident. You have no energy. But the captain of the boat who's like, hey, everyone, hop on. We're going to be there in 45 minutes. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be so much fun. Everybody hop on right now. Let's go. You know, I'm like, OK, cool. I'm confident. I'm not worried if he knows where he's going or she knows where she's going. Um, I'm I'm ready to go. I trust this person because their energy is good. They're confident. They're bold. They know where they're going. Okay. And, and that's the person that I want to follow. So be mindful of your energy. When you're talking to people, send voice messages, voice messages, call people, FaceTime, um, video calls are very effective for all of this. So, um, just make sure that you're being mindful because people, you can say, you can say something that's even crazy or doesn't even make sense, but as long as your energy is good, People will still be like, I don't know what she's talking about, but let's go. <laughs> like you can actually make a lot of mistakes and say the wrong thing, but as long as you say it with energy, it'll still take you far. It really will. It really will. So that's all I have for tonight. I really hope it helps. Um, hop on to Pink Power Call after this. So appreciate y'all getting on. Stay tuned for this month's um we have on third, I do want to say on Thursday, we have know your perks. That's for all the people that we signed up um, last month. So they know everything, how to get results on the products, everything that their, their subscription comes with and a little vision casting at the end too. So everybody be on that on Thursday and look for the teams, um, our teams, um, whole events being announced um, tomorrow. So y'all have a good night.